All right, this is going to be just a short video on uh, filler valve mods and what I use when I modify the filler valve on, say, for like uh, Zamas that have a solid pin uh, and uh, let's see. Those uh, Calibri John Sterling models that have a solid pin. Uh, and, and various other lighters that uh, you're able to adapt to, to go ahead and, uh, and to get and to do this. Uh, I might have a modified see I might have went ahead and installed that as another guy's lighter I think I did yeah now I'm talking about something like Zama this here this is Zama here it's got a a uh, this one's with solid pin okay so Anyway, this type of valve, the uh, Calibri, uh, uh, let's see if I got that body in here. This is it here. Let's see, this is Calibri here. And this has got, this has got the valve in it that you're going to have to have a wrench like this to get it out, okay? All right. So all these lighters like this, you know, they're solid pins. You can do. You can use these valves to modify them. Now on these Calibri ones, I use this here, right? This here valve here. Okay. Now you can get these valves online. Just look like. Just look up uh, Ronson filler valves, and these are replacement sets. Now these are the four and a half. Okay. These are the four and a half OD, and they have a 0 0.5 millimeter thread pitch. All right. Now, if you're not knowing, get you one of these tools online, and they got these little thread pitch gauges here. That way you can measure, you know, the thread pitch on your valve and make sure that you're using the appropriate uh, tap and, and everything. All right. Now... Another thing is too, is that uh, I don't have any of the drill bits here for this, but when you're tapping a four and a half millimeter thread for this valve here, you want to use you want the whole size wants to be four millimeter. Okay, you want about a half millimeter less than your valve size. Okay, here's what I got. I got my, I got two taps here, and this here, it, this is the four and a half. Okay, uh, this one, as you can see here, I've got this one labeled right here. 4.5 by 0 0.5 right here okay so drill a hole there and I tap it out all right and uh, I just use this screw it and screw it in there now and that's basically it on that there particular valve. Now I have used a 3.7 millimeter bit uh, drilling out, and that's what I got. But uh, uh, you're better off going with the. Uh, uh, I just found out later on that you know you want about a half a millimeter under the size, of the outer diameter of the valve. So this 4.5 millimeter tap use a four millimeter drill okay all right 
Um, now, this here valve here, I got off AliExpress, or I did get some smaller ones in here too, that are, they have a smaller head on them, but uh, they're uh, KWA airsoft valves. Now, I, I uh, these valves here, Or a, a five millimeter. Okay, know what I mean by five millimeter? Let me get here and show you what I mean. I'm close to it, you know. Not always exact, but 476. You got to have some clearance there. But uh, and I use on these here. Now I do have some five millimeter airsoft valve in here too like these here this guy that sells these he'll sell the bigger ones too all right we got a few of those just for some odd reason just in case i need them okay so this takes a four and a half millimeter drill bit to tap out the hole to make a hole to tap out this five millimeter by 0 0.5 okay all right now uh what I'd like to use this on, I, I don't know, I get them out of, you can look them up on AliExpress, and, uh, and I like to use those on uh, my Flaminaire F12 modification. See how the head's bigger on this one here than this one? I use this on the Flaminaire F12, it pretty well comes up to the inside of the case. There isn't much play, whereas this one here, it could be a little gap in between it. Now each one of these valves, if you get on there, this tool right here, this works for each one of these valves here. And this also works for uh, a SAFA 21 uh, lighter here if you want to remove the filler valves out of that. It's perfect for that as well. So, uh, for this in here, four and a half millimeter drill bits. All right. Four and a half millimeter drill bits. And uh, five millimeter tap. That snugs down there. That snugs down there tighter than you'll ever need. I used to put these on the Flaminera F12, but the tip of it came out a little bit. I'm doing a video! But anyway, uh, that's kind of it on that. I just wanted to basically show you this here. So you'll know you got a four and a half millimeter drill bit to drill out a hole to, uh, with a five millimeter by 0 0.5 millimeter tap for these in particular valves here, okay? Now these smaller valves, KWA valves, will work in the uh, this here, but they're not as, I don't know, they're not as tight as I like. That's just, uh, just me. And you got the four and a half millimeter tap here, but you gotta have a four minute, millimeter uh, drill bit to tap out, uh, the drill the hole before you tap these here out, these Ronson valves here. All right. Now I like, uh, I've also did lots of things on these and, uh, and uh, I can't remember what I do anymore on these. Um, how do I do these? I've come across a uh, simple way. I have taken these KWA valves stick them in a drill bit, spin them around and knock the head down on it. So the head 
fits down in here okay and I always and I cut this down a little bit too and what happens is is the valve sticks out around then I'll go ahead and sand everything down and I'll just leave it in there and I'll solder around it and we're good I just gotta install everything everything back into the KWA valve don't leave the internals in it you know while you're doing all that but uh, that's pretty much it that I can think of right now and uh, the Zema lighters too guys vary they vary quite a bit as far as type of valves you'll get in them and you know some of them will be uh, some of them will be like I think this one here is an 8 millimeter let's see I think this is an 8 millimeter. No, it isn't. That's a 10 millimeter, I think. I think this will get that. Yeah. Yeah. This will also, too, here. This little tool will take out them Zamet. Okay, fill the rails. So, one thing I like about this this is a good quality product. Get this on it, AliExpress as well. Okay, very good quality. I'll tell you another thing too, when you get this, that O-ring in there, and put some grease around it, otherwise this thing's hard to poke in. See how tight that is? The air pressure in there. Anyway, that's, look how it fits in there. This is a good tool here, folks, okay? If I wish anything, any improvement on this, this neural will be a little bit more aggressive. But nevertheless, it's, it's an excellent tool. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much all I can think of as, as far as uh, that goes. Uh, I pretty much think that's pretty well it as far as filler valve uh, tools needed for modifications, okay. Anyway, all right, guys, I hope that helps somebody out who uh, wants to do a particular type filler valve mod, you know, on their lighter that has a solid pin. That way you don't have to use an adapter and this, these valves make it so much easier to fill your lighter and to bleed them. Just, there's just no comparison. Them solid pin lighters, without the appropriate adapter to them guys and sometimes you know those lighters when they were made they had one in a box with a lighter but after you know how it goes you know stuff sits around gets lost and people sell those lighters or whatever and uh, they don't come with that adapter and uh, it's uh, it's almost a freaking nightmare to get them filled you know if you do uh, if you do have one and you wanna you wanna fill it. You wanna use uh, this type of fill valve right here. Filler valve. Uh, see how I mean this one's kind of burgered up. Let me find one that isn't burgered up. I think maybe this one. Yeah, this one's good. This is what you want to use, you know, if you're doing a solid pin. You want this one. See how it's got an offset hole in it? The reason it's got an offset hole is because the pin hits that plastic and pushes it in and lets butane out. And actually, butane goes around the pin inside the lighter. There ain't a lot of clearance. It's kind of a really, kind of a crappy design, but you know what? It is what it is. So if you get a can of butane, you know, and you're looking for one, uh, you know, like me, I got this that I got here. I got this whip it butane if I buy these because it's $4.99 for a can. Let's see what they got inside here. If I remember right, I think they I took them out. But yeah, they come with one. They come with one as well, see. Just make sure you pull it apart, you know, you look inside the cap. 
and uh, make sure you, you know you got one of these in there you know all right I think uh, I think that's pretty much going to be it on everything but anyway guys I hope uh, this video uh, does some good for anybody out there